may be like going through something really rough, but there's always like the brighter side that you can look to. And like, I don't know, I feel like a lot of friends have said like, yeah, every time I look at my bracelet, it makes me feel a little bit happy because I remember like what you're doing and like how it's important and all to keep going. My name is Rochelle Robichaud and I make mental health awareness bracelets because I think mental health is a really important subject that most people don't know how serious it is. And I've named the like little business Daisies for Determination and it's supposed to symbol symbolize new beginnings and like a fresh start um, and a positive outlook on life. I was hospitalized in the fall and um, I was on suicide watch and all, and it was a really tough time, but I had family and friends to help get me through it. And then this was a positive outcome that came out of it. I'm not glad that it happened, but I don't, I'm not ashamed that it happened either. Everyone has to deal with like mental health, like physical health, they're all both kind of similar things. And I think they should be talked about as openly as like physical health is just the same as mental health. It's really hard to go through mental like issues and go through things that you don't really feel like you have people there for you. And seeing somebody, even if you don't know them, seeing somebody making bracelets for stuff that you've gone through is just such an amazing thing to see. Uh, this one here is for OCD. It's just, they're all pretty much the same design. Um, this one's for uh, ADHD. This one's self-harm. And this one's domestic abuse. So they're all pretty similar, just different colors. And then this one's for personality disorders. And this one is for eating disorders. And I have also so many other ones. So it's not just these ones here. I have all sorts. And then I also have the suicide one, which is donated to the Thomas Keats organization. And the rest of them are donated to the Canadian Mental Health Association. I bought the sexual assault survivors one. And I wear it every single day to kind of end the stigma on sexual assault survivors. The time that I was coming to terms with it was also around the time that she was making these bracelets. So w putting that on every day and walking out and being proud of who I am and being able to wear a bracelet about who I am and what's happened to me is, um, I don't know, it's, it's, you can't even explain it, you know? Just the way you kind of like, your posture changes. I've never felt more proud of any of my friends than watching no. her go through this and make it something good, you know? She was the person who got me through the whole sexual assault thing, you know? Like, she was the one who gave me the courage to, you know, tell my mom about it. And if these bracelets can help, then that's, like, exactly what I think Rochelle is looking for and exactly what everyone really, you know, needs help with. I would say that every little bit counts, and I know that sounds really cheesy, but, like, if you have one person, it takes kind of one person to start something. So I have made these bracelets and I think that if someone else wanted to do something similar then like you should do that like because like the more people that do it the better. Even taking the step towards making a difference I think is something that you should be proud of. But I think that if anyone's having a hard time right now like definitely like talk to like a family member or like a friend and just try to stay as positive as possible and keep going.